Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights of Arkham. This time in the Hero Pack Focus, we are looking at the cards that come in the Nebula Hero Pack that just got released, so let's get started. The Nebula Hero Pack comes with a pre built deck with a Justice Aspect, so uh, let's first look at Nebula's uh, signature cards. Uh, we start by the Alter Ego side of Nebula. Uh, Nebula has uh, three recovery, outlaw, trade, cybernetic upgrades, response, after you play a technique, upgrade, draw two cards, limit once per round, and a hand size of six and nine hit points. So on the hit point department, uh, Nebula doesn't have a lot of hit points, which is a bit concerning, taking that some of the newer scenarios are quite... Uh, damage dealing villains so maybe there are some some uh, tricks in the nebula set that will uh, balance that out then we have the hero side so nebula has a 2-4, two, 2 attack and 2 defense and a guardian trait uh, combat protocols, force response after your turn begins, resolve the special ability on each technique upgrade you control, then discard each technique upgrade, resolve this way, hand size of 5, hit points 9. Okay, so uh, if we uh, remember how the Nebula villain works, also the Nebula hero will have a lot of techniques that will come into play, or you play them and then they resolve and go away, so quite a similar mechanic as with the villain. Next we have Gamora, which is a signature ally for Nebula. So uh, Gamora is a 3 cost ally, 2 toward 2 attack, 3 health, guardian. Response after you play Gamora, choose a technique upgrade you control, then resolve its special ability and Gamora can be committed as a, a wild resource. So this is again playing to Nebula's the technique style of play, so uh, you can get multiple uh, triggers of the special keywords on the uh, technique cards and we will be looking at those soon. So uh, three cost is a good good price for 2-2 two, two ally with three health so this is a good good signature ally in my opinion uh, then we have nebula ship which is a two cost support its vehicle a resource exhaust nebula ship generate a wild resource and it can be committed as an energy resource so uh, quite usual two cost support that generates a resource and note you can use this in either uh, alter ego or hero mode so you don't have to be in hero mode for example to use it so that's pretty good then we have the first technique card and there are two copies of this in the deck so uh, it is uh, cutthroat ambition it's one cost upgrade technique while nebula is in hero form her attacks Gain piercing and overkill. Special ward remove three threat from a scheme. So remembering that we will trigger the special uh, keywords each time some something tells us to do so. So uh, at least this well this gives like a buff to attacking, but also a buff to warding uh, with the special keyword. So that is the first of the technique cards. Uh, then we have uh, evasive maneuvering, and there is only one copy of this in the deck. Just double checking, yeah. So one, only one copy of this. Mm, while in hero form, Nebula ignores key, uh, the guard keyword, the patrol keyword, and the crisis icon. Special choose to either stun or confuse an enemy. And it can be committed as an um, energy resource. So, another one cost upgrade, and uh, this is 
quite powerful if you have a villain with a lot of guardy, um, guards or stuff like that around you can just ignore those and uh, keep on hitting the uh, villain so this is actually quite quite powerful so I, I think I understand why there is only one copy of it in the deck then uh, uh, we have another one of uh, technique and it is the unyielding resistance it's one cost upgrade uh, while in hero form nebula gets plus one ward, plus one attack and gains stalwart and stalwart means that you can't get stunned or uh, confused so that is quite good uh, special give nebula a tough status card so Again, that is also a good one, so really strong technique there and understand why there is only one one of them in the deck. And uh, the next one is, uh, there are two copies of uh, this one, so Weapons Master. Uh, Weapons Master is one cost upgrade technique, while in hero form Nebula gains retaliate one, a special attack, deal four damage to an enemy, so this is and this can be committed as a physical resource, so but the deal 4 damage is a really important thing because a lot of enemies have 4 health, like a lot of the guard enemies and stuff like that, so uh, dealing 4 damage to an enemy is a really, really powerful and uh, it doesn't have to be a minion it can be the villain, so you can just burn down villain, the villain with this. Uh, this is all also a pretty good technique. Uh, next up, we have another uh, two copies of uh, the same one in the deck. So, a white stance. It's a one-cost upgrade technique. While Nebula is in hero form, reduce the amount of damage she takes for from each attack by one. A special look at the top three cards of the encounter deck, discard one and put the other back in any order. The others back in any order and this can be committed as a energy resource. So, um, if I remember correctly, this is uh, these are pretty much the same as in the villain deck, but now for hero. So, really liking the uh, theme of making the villain basically the same as the hero so hopefully we will see some great villains later that become heroes the same mechanic so for example I'm really hoping Venom will also be the, the other Venom not the agent Venom will be uh, later made into hero and villain forms okay well uh, that is the white stance so Next up we have uh, Combat Ready and there are two copies of this. So Combat Ready is a zero cost event, uh, it's a skill, oh yeah this is not a technique anymore, so it's a skill, uh, alter ego action, uh, choose one, shuffle up to two technique upgrades from your discard pile into your deck, uh, discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a technique upgrade, put that upgrade in play then resolve its special ability so uh, this is a good card to get those spent techniques back into your deck so you don't have to wait for the whole deck to run out and reshuffle the deck so really good card and a zero cost so you don't have to make bad decision uh, hard decisions on if you want to play it or not and then uh, we have Lethal Intent, and there are actually three copies of this in the deck. So, uh, Lethal Intent is an X cost event, hero action, choose up to X technique co upgrades you control, resolve each of their special abilities in the order of your choice, and it can be committed as a mental resource. So, this lets you first get some of those. Uh, techniques in the play and then play this and trigger them and then trigger them again later and so forth so pretty 
focused on uh, around the technique uh, technique cards uh, really liking liking that it uh, is basically the same as the villain and uh, next let's look at uh, uh, justice cards that come in uh, Nebula Zero Pack. First we have an ally, Eros. Eros is a uh, 2 cost ally with 2 toward 1 attack, guardian rated and 2 health. Response, after you play Eros from your hand, confuse a minion for each uh, mental resource you use to pay for him. And Eros can be committed as a mental resource, so This could be pretty good. Oh yeah, it's only a confuse a minion. So, okay. Well, you can't confuse the villain with this. Uh, not really liking that that much. But it's a true cost um, ally uh, ally with two swords. So that is at least something. Then we have a uh, rate. Uh, Raid is a 3 cost ally with 1 sword and 3 attack, and notice that Raid also has 2 consequential damages on the attack, so you can make a one, one, uh, make 2 big attacks with Raid, and that's it. But Raid has 3 um, health, so you, you can't. You can either thwart 3 times or attack twice before right, uh, Raid is beat dead by consequential damage. Uh, guardian trade hero interrupt when a boost card is uh, turned face up, exhaust raid and deal one damage to him. Cancel that card's boost effect. Well, that's interesting. So, if you're playing against the villain with a lot of boost abilities in the encounter deck, this uh, should be an auto include them. Oh, and uh, guess who we found here? Uh, it is uh, Venom. Flash Thompson, so the Agent Venom ally version, uh, 4 cost ally, 2 toward and 3 attack, and <laughs> two, uh, 2 consequential damages on warding and attacking, which uh, really need to uh, make note of uh, Guardian trade for health, so you can do, uh, activate Venom twice, but let's read the rest of the card. Uh, while there is no threat on the main scheme, reduce all consequential damage Venom takes by one. So, uh, if you keep the main scheme off of uh, threat, then Venom becomes a real powerhouse of three attack, and you can activate him uh, four times. So, yeah, uh, I really, really liking the uh, style and justification of the Venom ally being in justice because now you, you really want to uh, keep the threat off of the main scheme to utilize Venom the best and Venom can be committed as a energy resource so let's then look at the uh, justice upgrade so uh, there are three copies of this in the deck so this is the uh, Justice Surge, it's a one cost uh, upgrade. Play under any player's control, max one per player. Uh, hero response after you ward and remove the last threat from a scheme. Discard Justice Surge, ready your hero. Okay, that is actually quite good. So if you keep like, warding the uh, main scheme down to zero, you can ready and do something else with your hero then. So this is an interesting card. And uh, next we have a zero cost uh, justice event, one way or another. And of course uh, three copies of this in the deck. Uh, max one per round, hero action, search the encounter deck for a side scheme, reveal that side scheme, draw three cards, shuffle the encounter deck and it can be committed as a mental resource so if you are adamant on being able to remove the uh, side schemes uh, then of 
course you want to play this because you draw three cards and uh, there are some side schemes that will award you for defeating them so I, I think that is also a good notion on this so for example in the Red Skull scenario there are some that you get rewarded if you defeat them so this is this feels like a really good uh, card to draw a lot of cards and uh, maybe get some beneficial side scheme into play that you can easily defeat. And then uh, we have uh, Determination. It, it is a resource card, max one per deck. Hero response after you spend this card, remove one threat from the main scheme. It, it is committed as a wild resource, so that is actually quite interesting. And we already saw this card actually in the, uh, the Mad Titan Shadow Box, in the Adam Warlock deck, so... This is, I think we are getting these um, max one per deck resource cards uh, in the future hero packs now. So this is the first one. Oh, it's a decent uh, resource card, nothing really fancy. Uh, then we have a reprint of the Power of Justice. Then we have uh, Brains over Brawn. It's a two cost event. There are three copies of this. Uh, so, two cost event attack, hero response attack. After your hero makes a basic four, deal damage to an enemy equal to your hero's ward. So, a really decent uh, attack event for Justice. Which I have been waiting for a long time. Like, really good that you can now uh, boost your Tward up, make a basic Tward action, and then play this and deal damage. So, making justice work even better. So, a uh, true solo, which I like. And lastly, we have two copies of uh, Heroic Intuition in the justice uh, part of the deck. So, nothing uh, special to say about those. Uh, then we have uh, Cosmo, which is a reprint, so I'm not going to talk that much about Cosmo. Uh, we already saw Cosmo in another earlier hero pack. We have Nowhere. It is uh, another reprint, so again, not talking about that much. Uh, Daughter of Thanos. So, team up card, Gamora and Nebula. Max one per deck, hero action draw three cards. Uh, so you have to have uh, Gamora and Nebula play to play this. So uh, this can also go into the uh, Gamora deck. So keep that in mind. And there are actually two copies of this because we didn't get one in. Gamora's deck, I think. So, uh, but but there can be only one per deck, so it is in the pre-build there is only one, but in the uh, extra cards we get, we have the second one. So that is an interesting card, uh, really good to draw more cards. Then we have uh, two first aids reprints and then the basic resource reprints. And that is all of the uh, Nebula's hero uh, deck. So a really interesting mix of cards, really heavy on the techniques and the justice aspect cards seem really interesting and good. I really like the Brains Over Brawn uh, one, but uh, then uh, I think we should look at the uh, obligation and the nemesis deck. So we have uh, the obligation in inferiority complex. Uh, give to the nebula player. You may flip to alter ego form. Choose, exhaust your alter ego, remove inferiority complex from the game. Uh, choose and discard two technique upgrades to control if no upgrades was discarded. Uh, this way this card can search to discard this obligation. Okay, so again, a choice between two uh, 
things, so go to Alter Ego and Exhaust to get rid of this for the rest of the game, or uh, discard techniques and uh, keep this in the encounter deck. Then, uh, no surprise here, uh, the Nemesis minion is Gamora. Uh, so, Gamora is a two scheme, two attack minion, elite, outlaw, six health, force interrupt. When this minion would enter play, discard the Gamora ally from play. Force response after Gamora attacks and damages you, choose and discard an upgrade you control. Nebula Nemesis minion 3 boost icons okay well uh, this is mirroring the Gamora uh, hero pack so uh, it, it's keeping in the theme of them being their, their uh, good allies at some points and then uh, enemies at the, on other points of time uh, next we have uh, self preservation it is the side scheme uh, we, uh, let's see, Nebula gets minus one port, minus one attack and minus one defense. Gamora gets plus one attack and her attacks gain piercing, so uh, that is quite punishing. Uh, two boost icons and it comes in play with two uh, threat per player. Then uh, we have a lethal weapon. And Lethal Weapon is an attachment uh, attached to Gamora if you cannot attach to the villain. Hero action, discard an upgrade, you control, discard this attachment and it gives plus one attack. Whomever it is attached to. And it is a uh, two, uh, two boost icon card. Lastly, uh, Old Rival, time two, so Old Rivals is a treachery. When revealed, Gamora attacks you. If no attack was made this way, this card can search. If the Gamora hero or ally is in play, she resolves her attack against you without exhausting. Okay, well, that is funny. So if you are playing a multiplayer game with uh, Nebula and Gamora, then Gamora just attacks you. So really liking this Nemesis uh, theme. Then, uh, lastly, let's look at uh, a new other aspect card, so Energy Spear, three copies of this. Uh, one cost upgrade, attached to a Guardian ally, max one per ally. Attached, attached ally gets plus two attack and, it is, and its attacks gain piercing, so a really good card for those aggression decks that just try to they cheap allies and uh, burn down the enemy, but of course the restriction only to guardian allies, so you have to keep that in mind. And this can be committed as an energy resource. Uh, then we have Guardians of the Galaxy, again three copies of this. And it's a two cost support uh, team traded card, play under any player's control, max one team card per player. If each of your characters has the Guardian trait, this card gains response. After you play any upgrade on an ally, draw one card. And this really um, supports the style of the uh, upgraded allies decks, so like Tony or, or, or the Iron Man ally and the Ronin ally and stuff like that. So. That seems good, and this doesn't have to. Oh yeah, uh, that actually doesn't work because it is. It says that if each of your character has the guardian trait, so it only works when you have a, a guardian only allies and spread. Uh, then uh, we have. Uh, defensive training, there are only two copies of this because it reads uh, max 2 per deck, uses two training counters, so one cost support, alter ego action, exhaust discard and one training counter from it. Uh, choose a protection green event in your discard pile and shuffle it into your deck, so another way to get those good uh, cards back into your deck without reshuffling the whole deck. 
and we had the extra daughter of Thanos card and lastly uh, we have honorary guardian so this is like the honorary avenger but for guardians zero cost upgrade play only if your identity has a guardian trait and that's to a friendly character max one per character that character gets plus one hit point and gains the guardian trait so with this you can make uh, anyone a guardian and then combo other cards that only work for guardians with those so I was really expecting to get this sooner, but it is better uh, later also. At least we got this card. So that is the whole Nebula Hero pack. Well, uh, this uh, Hero deck focus went on for a bit, so not gonna talk that much uh, after going through the cards. Uh, I will be sleeping up the deck and playing a game, and still I haven't decided which villain I will play and probably might try one um, villain from the new the Mad Titan Shadow expansion because I really would like to play those scenarios now that I have that box but we'll see. Thanks uh, for watching this Hero Pack Focus uh, and until next time.